For an approach to solve this problem that's an alternative way of doing it, different from the way that I showed in a previous video that's linked to in the description below or floating over my head somewhere, I'm going to show you a much more straightforward and easy equation, this one right here, NAMAVA equals NBMBVB. Now sometimes you might see out in the literature or out on the internet somewhere this written as N1 M1V1 equals N2 M2V2. Either way, it's okay. I prefer this way because it tells me what I'm dealing with. All the A's stand for acids and the B's for bases. Na is the number of acidic H's in your acids formula. Ma is that acid's molarity, concentration in moles of acid per liter solution. Va is its volume. Nb is the number of OH's in your base. Mb is its molarity, and Vb is your base's volume. And this equation works beautifully for strong acid, strong base titration questions like this. As you can see in the system, we have one acidic hydrogen in my perchloric acid formula, so Na is equal to one. The molarity of that acid is this number right here, and the volume of our acid, Va, we don't know and have to solve for. On the flip side, we've got 50 milliliters as our base volume, and this number as our base concentration. And how many hydroxides or OH groups do we see in our sodium hydroxide formula? Yeah, you just see one, one OH, so that is our Nb. I now have all the components to solve for this equation, except for my missing VA, which I will do using algebra. So let's replace all these terms with their respective numbers here, and then we'll algebraically solve for VA. Like this. In order to solve for VA, the acid's volume for this particular system and solution, I'm gonna have to divide both sides by this part right here. I'm being a little fast and loose with my units. Nevertheless, you can see that these capital M's for molarities cancel each other out. Ultimately, when you plug and chug in your calculator, simplifies to 38.0 milliliters, which I've rounded to three significant figures. 